Good morning, peoples. Just got an Amazon delivery. This box obviously came from uh, China, probably to my west coast of Canada, where they uh, ship this from inside the country within a week. It's taken a week for this to come. So this box is uh, very well taped all along the edges. Luckily, this comes in a gig bag, so I'm hoping there's no bridge damage where this would be, or just below the bridge. Let's, uh, let's open it up and find out. Strap as promised, cable, and a little pack. Oh, another snark style tuner, a capo, whammy bar, pick, and a spare set of, set of strings. I found this on Amazon a week ago. Uh, it just kind of like popped up because I, I check regularly for any, any new guitars. And uh, this one just happened to be there. And they were going to deliver it prime. And when it takes a week, that means it's inside the country and usually it comes from the west coast. It was only in black. And of course, it's got a paper on the strings. Now this is a nice touch. This is, I don't I don't I don't remember this happening before on the moon. The blue one that I got. Oh, oh my God, the fret ends are absolute knives. Absolute knives, every single one of them. Woo! So that's dangerous. Okay, it's got cast saddles, which are um, better than the stamped ones. Let's see if there's any damage around the bottom of the box. I think the, I think the bag saved it. That looks okay, mostly just dust. So this is gloss, and the headstock is uh, matte in black. That was not apparent from the advertisement. To give you a close-up, move that stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what the knobs will do. Probably volume, volume, tone, which is nice because that means I won't have to do too much but it's probably going to be tone tone volume uh, with a strat style even though the headstock is nothing like a strat style um, die cast tuners we'll, we'll take a look at those the back of the neck is uh, is satin the back feels really good they've got their a moon on the plate which uh, shows them proud so there's not really a block inside, it's just a tiny little uh, white metal template, which is expected. The saddles are nicer ones. Um, haven't had a, a guitar off of Amazon in a while, and this was something new and affordable. Uh, $150 Canadian, uh, plus taxes here. Um, Set a pass QC on the back. Sounds almost right. Okay, the action is, uh, yeah, quite high. Way up there. Um, the neck. Looks like the headstock is a little bit further forward for it to be exactly level with the body. It's hard to tell because the body's not really all in the shot. Um, what I found lately is that, oh, and the nut is really high. Um, what I found lately with a lot of the guitars, including Holly Benton, is that uh, 
Uh, most of them need a tiny little shim back here just to bring them down uh, a tad over there and then you can get the action where you want it um, and the saddles um, can be set such that the screws on them are not like they are like they are now they're not going to be coming out and cutting your hand in any way uh, but if you uh, try to put these down to go here to get that action very low um, like in you know three to four sixty fourths that I like um, which is very very speckish um, what happens is that these screws stick up really high when the neck is sit like that but if there's a tiny shim back here something like maybe 20 22 21 millimeter um, thickness a point 21 millimeter thickness you can um, you can get that neck just to sit back a little bit and uh, the saddles behave themselves for proper action height now the pickups I'm not sure what they're going to be like on this one on the last moon I had to replace them the one on the bridge here has uh, uh, a trim ring very similar to uh, an LP with the uh, slanted uh, trim ring on it. Yep, standard standard box switch. Oh, gotta watch my hands. <laughs> They're very sharp. Um, closer inspection with uh, glasses on. Mm, yep, a uh, few smudges, um, buffing will probably make it look perfect like the blue one and some cleaning and it'll be fine. With my glasses on I can see a little bit of the imperfections in the saddles before they were chromed, those little, little pits, but at least they are this style and uh, they have the slot for the string to come through and sit in so that you know they don't move side to side here. At least there's that. Um, the bridge is set so that you could wang it forward with the wangy bar. At the moment, uh, yes, it's uh, just sitting a tiny little bit on the body. Oh. Looks like I'm going to have problems with those screws again. Yeah, I'm going to have problem with the screws. The screw is uh, sitting back from the back of the bridge. It's not tight to the uh, to the body of that, which means that there's a a problem with them going through the holes. So I thought, well, for 150 bucks, and if the bones are good, like the blue one was, um, I can pretty much fix everything else. That's plastic. I can see the remnants of the residue behind uh, the strings here. Let's check these out. No slop, 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 slop. Eh, only got one good one. All the rest of them have some slop in them. This is the, this is the one with the most slop. I think. No, that one. Ah, eh, these are all equal slop. That's a good one. Yeah, all the rest of them are about equal. This one has no slop. It's nice. For a change, well, one out of six is not uh, the worst because it could be six out of six. But when it's that like that, okay, I have to think about uh, also replacements. So 
Oh yeah, see I pulled the string out and a piece of plastic fell out of the uh, slot there. So we're going to give it a, 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 a check. Oh my god. <laughs> These are uh, small frets. Um, they're not very big. The frets are very, very tiny. The edges, I don't know if we can get anything on there. They're, they're very, very, very sharp. Every single one of them. Ooh. Okay. The next step will be downstairs. Crafted in China. Love music and love life. A moon saying. There you go. So it looks like the bones are decent and uh, it can become a pretty good uh, modding platform. Next step, the bench. Okay, so I haven't done anything yet. I've uh, pre-stretched some strings. I checked that it is a fender scale. Uh, it's very close to flat. I ran my um, rocker up and down. There are uh, a number of uh, unlevel frets. They're not terribly unlevel. Uh, at this action height, you'd never know. But um, I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to try to get it tuned up here um, and see what it what it's like just as is. Uh, first, I want to measure the pickups. Uh, let's go to the bridge. 20k range. And we have a 14.73. Middle. Ooh, low. 5.41. Five point three eight. So if you do middle and uh, neck together, that should be really low. Yeah, like two point seven two. Bridge in middle. Three point oh four. So it takes a fourteen seven three down to four when you parallel it with a five point. 41. So remember that uh, when you're paralleling resistances, the resultant resistance will always be slightly lower than the lowest resistance in parallel. So that's 541, which means that the resultant resistance has to be lower and it comes in at 4.0. So in this position, so we're going to try to get it tuned up. And uh, we'll see where it goes. Hold on. All right, we got it tuned. Come on out of there. All right. Uh, tuning it up. It has a nice uh, acoustics. Uh, some guitars sound dead when you do that, and some sound almost like they're semi-hollow, uh, which is not bad. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, uh, acoustically. All right, let's turn on the bridge, see what she does. Oh, there she comes. This might sound uh, a little extra loud uh, because we're like in direct line here with the uh, amplifier. <coughs> about the vol about these pedals uh knobs as expected okay so the bottom two do not affect the bridge so i'm assuming they're going to be tone for the middle yep that one is tone for the middle with pickup that doesn't sound that bad I'm on the 65 deluxe as usual with no effects so 
as expected it's strat style with tone tone and volume <laughs> It's a little warmer when you put these two in parallel and it drops down to two point whatever I said it was. Um, <clears throat> it's not a horrific drop. Uh, let's try the uh, bridge in the middle. <laughs> pretty good on its own and uh, probably you know this could work uh, never wanting to use those two together unless you really wanted something that sounded like that <clears throat> but the pickups on this are not as uh, bad as I expected them to be Let's turn that off so we don't get any unwanted tones. Yeah, so uh, that's the first part of uh, this a moon. There's no model name for it. Um, I, I can't remember what they called it on Amazon. The last blue one was called Just Pins. This one was called BTU GBY or something like that. I'll find out um, and show you. Uh, but they, they never advertised them as a moon. And again, as usual, uh, they blacked out the uh, silver a moon on the headstock. All right, so for 150 bucks, I'm not uh, I'm not dissatisfied. It's um, pickups are better than I expected. Um, I think it's going to be a fairly good uh, platform. Um, all the things that I would have expected to do is likely to you know change volume volume and uh, the switch of course I may replace this bridge I th think and of course this plastic nut is got to go I think it looks about the width of a standard fender I don't have the bag here it's at the other bench and uh, this one's sort of a creamy color um, all I have are whites. Now the tuning was a little bit difficult with these uh, tuning keys, uh, slopping back and forth on me. Uh, I got it close enough that it didn't go out of tune anyway. Um, well, I just did that little little thing. Um, I think they got to go. And uh, of course, fixing all of the the frets. Uh, leveling and of course edges we will sand all those off and make them nice I'll see what I'll decide in the end about the pickups I think uh, the bridge is probably going to be a keeper it doesn't sit exactly flat it's probably a rubber rubber cushion underneath or wires um, and uh, from where they are the neck pickup is um, probably yeah it's lower than spec when you get the strings uh, up close like this the middle is closer but still flat so not exactly where it should be the treble side is a little bit lower than the bass side and on the bridge it's pretty much flat right across at a, probably a little bit higher than an eighth of an inch here yeah it's a little bit higher than an eighth of an inch that's an eighth that's an eighth Higher than an eighth, uh, higher than an, ooh, an eighth and a half. Should be a sixty-fourth on the other side. So, yeah, so just as they are, um, not adjusted. That's how the sound came out. So, uh, going to need to do a little work. I, I probably will do a little bit of adjusting on this uh, on my own. Um, just to see what my ideas will be for possible changes to this. And uh, then we'll see in part two where I think um, we're going to go. So stay tuned for that.
Catch you in the next one.